This past weekend was a big one for TV, especially for the cable networks. HBO's very popular Game of Thrones premiered, and it did very well. There's a beast in every man. And it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. But because it's a pay network, HBO has a limited world of viewers, so it wasn't sort of anything that was threatening the networks. The Walking Dead, however, had its finale, and this is something that really makes the networks nervous. Get out of here. Who the hell are you? The AMC show drew 12.4 million viewers. That makes it the top watch show of the week among the most desirable demographic that advertisers are looking for. That's got to make the networks nervous. You know, this show is beating shows on, on networks like CBS, NBC, and ABC, and Fox. They're all in a competition for ad dollars. They all need those ad dollars. They want those young viewers. The networks are having an increasingly difficult time attracting them. A show like The Walking Dead probably couldn't make it on a network show because it's so violent. The networks are under the FCC. They have standards they have to meet because they use the free airwaves. This is a big deal. I think that it's going to be a change and the networks need to figure out a way to catch up. Now the story of a wealthy family who lost everything and the one son who had no choice but to keep them all together. Another show that attracted a huge loyal following, but this one was canceled, many including myself would believe before its time, was Arrested Development. Now Arrested Development is coming back, which is very exciting. This is going to be the fourth season. It's coming back on Netflix. This week Netflix set the premiere date for the show, which is going to be May 26th. Like it did with House of Cards, Netflix is going to put all of the episodes on at once, which means if you're a huge Arrested Development fan, you can watch the whole entire season in one night. Initially, there were going to be 10 episodes. Now it looks like there's going to be 15. It will be very interesting to see how this works out. House of Cards seems like it was a success, but Netflix doesn't release viewer information. Now, people say, well, that's because it's not about how many people watch. It's about the buzz it creates. They don't need advertising dollars. As I mentioned before, HBO does tell us how many people watch their shows, and they don't need advertising dollars either. At some point, Netflix is going to have to come up with a metric that they can share with people to give a sense of what kind of audience their original programming is attracting. We think House of Cards did pretty well. I'm hopeful and expectant that Arrested Development will also do well. But in this business of show, you have to have the heart of an angel and the hide of an elephant. Finally, for TV fans, there was a big legal victory this year. There's this company called Arrow, which has a really, really cool idea. Now there's Aereo, a new platform for bringing live broadcast TV to the internet wherever and whenever we want it. They have farms of lots of tiny, tiny little TV antennas. Those antennas get free over the air network television, and then they stream it to you on the internet. You pay a fee, it's not very expensive per month, and you get all of the network television you want on your tablet or on your phone. This is a really disruptive idea because it gives people much more permission to cut the cord. A lot of the reason people don't get rid of their cable companies is because they want that network television. Now they don't need it anymore. Arrow has of course been sued by the networks who claim copyright infringement, but they won a victory this week when a judge refused to issue an injunction that would have stopped Arrow from doing business. Barry Diller, who bought Arrow, says that he is now going to go ahead with expanding the company to many other cities. I do think this is going to be a big game changer in the world of cord cutting. We'll see how many people sign up for it.